everyone. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Jenny and in this video I'm going to try to give you some gift basket ideas. Um, stuff for kids, teenagers, adults, um, maybe some of your co-workers, your hairdresser, um, stuff like that. Some of them will be probably, oh, people already done that or oh, you already knew that. But I'm going to do a couple that maybe you just did not think of. I have a great personality. I love humor. So you might find some humor in uh, some of these. So if you want to see some of my ideas, then keep watching. So this first one, everything is from the Dollar Tree. So this will be perfect for someone that loves to keep their vehicles clean and shiny. So I'm going to take one of the buckets from the Dollar Tree and line it with one of those chamois towels. And of course, we got to add some of the Armor All items that the Dollar Tree carries, all name brand. And of course you want it to smell good. So how about some car fresheners as well? Here's a flat battery that's great for the glove box. Does come with the batteries as well. Some more air fresheners. There's a tire brush and there's another one of those little towels. Some more car freshener. And this is an emergency flashlight. And there you go and simple it can be for a boy or girl or even someone that has a bike that likes to wash their bike moving right along this basket is from Target from the Dollar Spot this is gonna be for the craft lovers I took some of the yarn from the Dollar Tree I cut some strips out and that is what I'm gonna line the basket with so they can make stuff with that if they choose to there's a cutting board. Here's some of the vinyl. And a lot of this is from the Dollar Tree. In fact, I think almost everything I put in here is from the Dollar Tree. So just trying to do some different ideas on what they could use for any kind of crafts that they plan on doing in the near future. A lot of the stuff is from Crafter Square. It's got a bunch of different tapes and glues and beads, scissors, tape, the cutting board, some wooden beads some twine and their brand new glue gun that just came out add a little bit of greenery that i purchased from the dollar tree just to give us some some more like festive oh and why not one of these giant christmas bulbs here's one of their felt bows from the dollar tree just gonna wa wrap that right there in the front I'm going to take some of this basket wrap that i got 90 percent off last year at hobby lobby and I'm going to just wrap it on up. Now you don't have to wrap these if you don't want to. You can just put a bow or take some of their ribbon and just tie a little ribbon around if you want. So I just fought with this for about 10 minutes and finally decided to use a rubber band. And then I'm going to take some of this tinsel stuff from the Dollar Tree, cut a little strip, and I'm going to add a little red bow just to dress it up a little bit. And voila, there you go. A perfect gift for the crafter in your life, which could even be a teacher as well. All right, if you want to watch this one, you must have a sense of humor. If you do not have a sense of humor, go ahead and skip this one. But I just had to do it. I am a mother of four daughters. That's all I'm going to say, okay? So let me give you an idea if you have a daughter. How about some tampons? And we gotta have some chocolate. I number, numbered these bags Monday through Sunday. So yes, we gotta have some chocolate and just in case a shot here and there if they are 21 years or older. We gotta have our chocolate every day. Now, this would be a good gift as well, except, you know, no tampons or alcohol for a pregnant friend or family member. Add some chocolate or some fruit and veggies, stuff like that. And then we have the last day to celebrate. There's a couple of different ways you can do the basket. I am going to line the bottom of this Dollar Tree basket with pads. I'm going to fill it up pretty high in the back and then put the jumbo box of tampons there in the very back. And we're going to give it some panty liners. And then we're going to sprinkle some more panty liners on the bottom, just like confetti. 
Fun, fun, fun. Oh, we got to add some Advil. I don't have any mite also. I just did the Advil. And of course, we have to add our seven bags of goodies. Oh, and some extra tampons on the go. I went ahead and added some red ribbon <laughs> around these. I should have made up four of these for my girls. Uh, I just might have to, though. I think they would get a kick out of it. They have great sense of humors, too. So I'm going to take some of the fluff and just push it around there just to give it some more uh, oomph, I guess. And that's what it looks like before I wrap it up. I would have picked out a red basket, um, so, but they didn't have red, so I just went ahead and went with the blue. Since you feel blue when it's that time of the month. And just wrapped it up with some of red ribbon and that see-through paper. Moving right along, how about some skin care items for those that love to take extra good care of their skin on a budget? I believe there's only one thing in this group that was not from the Dollar Tree. Otherwise, everything else is purchased from the Dollar Tree along with the basket. Now, you can always line these with different things, but you know what? I had 18 different baskets to do, so I am just throwing all of this skincare items in this one basket. Sometimes you just might have to maneuver things off and on. And look how cute that is. Add some Christmas bulbs from the Dollar Tree some more red tinsel stuff and there you go look how simple and easy that was to do all right for those that are ages 21 and up i am going to give you some fantastic amazing ideas on how to give well some alcohol so i'm just taking this uh, like shadow box frame I had purchased from Big Lots a while back. It's been sitting in my garage. So I'm going to show you here in the very back how I just opened that up and I just inserted a bunch of those 93 cent shot bottles that you can get at the um, liquor store. And look how cool that is. You can add a bow, you can add a ribbon, nothing if you don't want to, or you can even personalize it with someone's name. These are some shot glasses from the Dollar Tree or dessert um, glasses. These are shot glasses from Tuesday morning, which were $6.99. Now these are the other items I will be using from the Dollar Tree. I ended up not using that bucket in the back. But these are just some of the Crafter Square items that I use some of the stain that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to show you how I use some of them. So this one I just painted and stained. And this one has the little, almost looks like a little basket. This was a wooden tray from the Dollar Tree that I stained. This is just one of their uh, banks. And again, I ended up not using that. So let me show you on what I did. So this one, I'm just taking four of the shot bottles there. Uh, the Jim Beam. And then I'm going to add these little cute little Santa hats, which these are real easy to make. And then you have the little winter hats. There's a little snowman hat and another winter hat. Look how cute that is. Now I'm going to do this one with four different ones and that one. Now you can, if you want to dress it up a little bit, again, I just take some of this, is it like tinsel stuff? I don't even know what it's called. And just tying a little red bow there. And voila. Okay, now for the bank. I did not have time to scrape all the words off, but you can scrape it. You can add your words, do whatever. So I'm just taking it apart. And this does fit four of the shot bottle there. And put the back back on. Clamp it shut. And voila. There you go. Again, I would scrape the coffee cash. I'm going to put these in from the Dollar Tree. Kind of make it look like a reindeer. Oh, we got to add a little bit of red for the holidays, right? So look at that. What a cute gift on a budget. Now this one, there's different ways you can use it. You can use some of this moss stuff, or I call these worms. I'm going to use these 
and I just filled them up, put two bottles in each square, That one was a little crooked. And if you want, you can add one little shot glass in the middle. And there you go. So look how cute and fun those are. And you can always wrap them up if you want to. But I think these came out pretty good. So this can be for a man or woman. Again, ages 21 and up. On a budget. All right, now we're gonna do one for those travelers. If you have someone in your family or a friend that travels a lot, well, this is a great idea. So again, all this is from the Dollar Tree. And these are like the little fun sizes of stuff to put your shampoo, conditioner, eye cream, all that fun stuff. So I'm doing some luggage tags, tissue, pill holder, hand lotion, uh, band-aids. Oh, we got to add a sewing kit because you just never know. And hand sanitizer wipes, travel Q-tips, some more hand wipes, and a snack. There you go. Look how cute that is. Three of my oldest daughters or are going to uh, Mexico next year. So this is what spurred the idea. Also, I did it this way as well. Everything from the Dollar Tree, including the container. So look how fun and cute that is. They can just throw that right there in their luggage, just like that. You can see through it and everything is in there that they would need to travel with. So again, another great idea. We cannot forget about our fur babies. If you don't have one, I'm sure your friend does or a family member. And some of this is from the Dollar Tree. That little paw thing is from Target. We're gonna add some dog food, some bones and treats. You can always do some toys, uh, little poop bags. So again, great idea for that pet lover. And you can do one for a cat, a hamster, guinea pig, lizard, any of that. But So yeah, I think it came out really cute. Moving right along, for those that are obsessed with their fingernails, this will be a perfect idea for them. Again, pretty much, I do believe everything on this counter is from the Dollar Tree, including the basket. So just lining everything up with the nails. The glue, nail files, lots of fake nails, and that little container I put in there, that's to put the fake nails in to keep them organized. Throw some Christmas bulbs in there, and there you go. And of course, a red bow. Plain and simple. Our next one is for those that love to do wood projects. So I figured I would throw together a lot of the wood items from the Dollar Tree, including wood glue and their stain. So I'm just gonna take this wood crate. Can, I think I got it like at a thrift store or something, which is another great place to go for a basket or anything to put these gifts in. All of this stuff is from the Dollar Tree, besides the wood container that is. I did some glue, different kinds of glue, stain, sandpaper. Tuck that in the back there and some of the wood sticks and there you go. Moving right along to a gift basket for the little ones. I took a bunch of the um, Dollar Tree snowballs there on the bottom. We're gonna add a coloring book. Now you can do crayons, markers, um, color pencils. These are some blind boxes. Gonna add a puzzle, some beads, a squishy ball, another blind bag, some of the tipsies from the Dollar Tree. And again, you can add whatever toys you want, but I'm just trying to show you some ideas on how you can build some of these gift baskets on a budget for the little ones. Went ahead and wrapped it up and added a bow. 
All right, moving right along to those that love to wear makeup. So again, all this is from the Dollar Tree and we're gonna be adding all of this to the black basket from the Dollar Tree. I went ahead and lined it with some of the yarn that I had left over. And just gonna pile in some of the makeup and that was blenders, a mirror, one of those washcloths, tweezers, all that kind of stuff. And there you go. Another great idea. For the next one, it could be for someone that loves to work with glass, which, you know, they can engrave glass and all that fun stuff. Or if they like to organize things, I thought this would be a great idea to get them different kind of jars, some of the special markers and labels. So there's a bunch of markers and this is all from the Dollar Tree. So these are just a bunch of different labels, some of the pull tabs. Stuff to hang stuff, little glass bottles, and that's it. Look how simple that is. Under 10 bucks, I think. Can't remember. And added some of the fluff, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Moving on to our next one for those that have a sweet tooth. I think we all have one. Again, taking one of these baskets from Target. I'm going to add some of the cookies and different kinds of candies to build in there. Now I do not recommend this for any diabetics. Um, but yeah, although I think this would be great for someone that's pregnant. Maybe that'd be a good idea for someone or for a teacher or your neighbor. But yeah, everything's from the Dollar Tree besides the basket. Once again, a very easy, simple gift for anyone. And there's the end result, and I added a little Christmas bulb in the front, like Rudolph. I don't know. The next items are going to be for those that like to put stuff in their hair. This is one of the little hair dry towels from the Dollar Tree. I want to add a comb and a bunch of these scrunchies for your hair. My daughters constantly fight over these things. So if you have a teenager or a daughter or a wife that uses these, this is going to be a fantastic gift because I guarantee my kids are going to love it. So yeah, plain and simple. Voila. Just like that. Make them super happy. And mom happy as well. All right, this is plain and simple. This is just like a little wooden box I found at a thrift store. I put a bunch of different kinds of men, uh, men's <laughs> pens and markers. And there you go for those that like to draw color for a teacher, art teacher. But yeah, look how cute that is. Very simple and added a bow on it. Moving right along for those that like to paint. Again, this is everything from the Dollar Tree. We have the easel. And we're going to add a couple of different canvas for them to paint or color. You can always add markers to this as well. We got some paint brushes. And we're going to throw in some different paints. And there you go for the art lover in the family. Okay, this is the most items that always goes missing in someone's house. If you know, you know. We have scissors. We have paper. We have pencils, pens, and tape. This is a must basket for any parent. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times I go to get a pen, a pencil, a marker, piece of paper, scissors, or tape, and they're always gone. Always gone. 
But this basket I'm using is from Marshalls. It was $2.99. It's a metal one, that is. And look at that. That is a lifesaver. Oh, look how beautiful that is. And of course, I had to wrap it up to make it real cute and add a red bow. That is a must. All right. How about for those that go camping or they have an RV? These are some items that just might be perfect for them. Again, a lot of this is from the Dollar Tree. So how about some different canisters? We have some batteries and zip ties in different sizes. There's a lantern, a flashlight. Oh, how about some little cute size foods and jellies so it doesn't take up a bunch of space in the cupboards or fridge. And I use some of those, um, oh, what do you want to call them? You roast marshmallows on them. I can't even think what they're called. But anyway, they're from the Dollar Tree. So, yeah. So those are all the baskets I was able to think of. So I'm hoping I was able to give you some ideas. If you want, why don't you go up, comment down below, and let me know which one was your favorite and what you just might try yourself. As always, I want to say thank you for taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling. Ha 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 